Hello, Internet. My name is Zach Finfrock, and this is the very first episode of the Mad Monster Lab. And on today's episode, we're going to show you guys how to, how to shoot to someone in the f***ing head. The f*** is your problem? What? While I make sure we're not going to get arrested for discharging a firearm indoors, Ralph is gonna explain how everything works. Okay, so what we're going to do today is a squib, but unlike a typical explosive squib, this is a CO2 powered squib that I invented years ago when working on a music video for the Bronx. Since then, it's been used in feature films like Resident Evil 3. Okay. Just, okay, all right, all right. We have two strikes left. We have two strikes, how many strikes do we have? How many strikes did we have? I mean, well, we started with three strikes. So we got total. three strikes to work with. Uh, no, no, we have two in total. Okay. Rallis, how do you plan on doing this build? Okay, pretty easy. We're gonna be using a 12 gram CO2 cartridge, an emergency bicycle inflator, some tubing, and copious amounts of fake blood. Lots of fake blood, like buckets. Gallons. Blood. How many gallons are in a human being? There are about 80 gallons in a human body. At least when I destroy a human body, it's about 80 gallons. I mean, in real life. No, Maybe. that's science. Oh, it's science. Yes. The Mad Monster Lab's material list for shotgun blast to the f***ing head. This is some of the crap you're gonna need. First off, <laughs> emergency bicycle inflator for a mountain bike, works off of 12 gram CO2 cartridges. You can get this at a bike shop, or if you want to spend a little less money, get them where you can get paintball supplies. Also, a bicycle inner tube, or a valve extension that you can get at an um, automotive supply place, or you can get this at a bike shop. We have various pneumatic fittings. We have the nipple fittings with a female end. That's female nipple. Then we've got the nipple fitting with a male end. I said male nipple. Hey, then we have a brass barb end, barb nipple, no, with a male end. And then we have the quick release with a male end. We have various hose clamps, both very small and regular small. The very small you have to get in an auto supply store, like a uh, Cragen or uh, Auto's, uh, whatever, Riley's Auto Parts. These other ones come, these are the smallest size you can get at a hardware store. Zip ties. Figure it out. All right, this is a 5 8 outer diameter vinyl tubing. You can also use half inch, anything from quarter inch all the way up to this 5 8 which is a little bigger than half inch. Lighter and a torch, okay? Don't kill yourself. We got a hot glue gun. We got pliers. We got a ratchet screwdriver, because I'm lazy. And we got a crescent wrench. We got makeup stipple sponges. These are the black coarse kind that you do for making scrapes and stuff like that, but you'll learn about that later. We got blood, cup, tongue depressor. And last but not least, a syringe. You can get the blood, the makeup sponges, and the syringe at Friends Beauty Supply. They're a proud sponsor of the Monster Lab. We'd like you to help them help us. So tell them Rallis sent you. On to the build. You're also going to need a Dremel, some scissors, and some quarter inch tubing. Sorry, but I was drunk last night and I forgot this shit. I'm gonna actually show you what we're building so that you have an idea along the process. The main device here is a coupler between the emergency air inflator and the tubing. So we're actually building this with a Schrader valve, some tubing, hose clamp, the barb thing with the male and the female nipple on there. That's gonna connect to the quick release that has the male hose clamp, your tubing all the way to the end that's sealed up, has a hole cut in it, and some of that nice sponge material stuck on there with hot glue. That's all you need. We're going to cut off the Schrader valve of the inner tube with a Dremel. Be careful, wear eye protection. Do as I say, not as I do. Or you can cheat 
and just use the Schrader valve extension. For all those people that have those stupid, funky-ass rims, they sell these things because you can't actually fill the damn tire after you put those damn things on. So this little piece here is an extension. I can show you how that fits on. It actually fits onto a regular Schrader valve to extend so you can get through those funky S rims. This is a lot easier. I found this after I figured out how to do it with a bicycle inner tube. I'm gonna cut off a length of the quarter inch hose, just long enough for the barb and the Schrader valve to go into. Now I have to heat this up with a torch. Don't burn off your face. You don't need to burn the tubing. You just wanna get it hot. Rotate it while you do it. Then you can fit that on the end of the barb, slide it on. While it's still hot, we're gonna get the hose clamp on there. That's why I use this damn thing. Hose clamp, tighten that up. Don't worry about my torch. Yeah, I know it's burning. Now, I usually lube these things up with my mouth, so I'm gonna do that. So nothing works like lube, like human spit. Now this tube is freaking hot, okay? And I got my hose clamp ready. Go ahead and just tighten that up. That takes care of our intermediate piece. Let's get on to the big ass tubing. Oh, but before that, I forgot, we gotta screw on the female nipple and we'll screw that into the barb and get that on there nice and tight. That's what she said. Now we're gonna use our larger tubing. You don't need a huge length. Basically, you have to decide, is it gonna be triggered off camera, on camera? Is the actor gonna trigger it himself? Um, when we were working on Resident Evil 3 down in Mexico, the stuntmen were running and then they would trigger it themselves as they were running. So we made a length that would go down the back of their head, over their shoulder and down their sleeve so they could hold it in your hand. So you want a length, something that's usable about that long. You can go as long as 10 feet or more if it's gonna be a other than that. So I'm gonna go with five to six feet and just cut that off. Then I'm gonna seal the end with a torch. You can seal the end with a torch. I'm actually gonna burn the vinyl. Don't inhale this, it's not good for you. Work with proper ventilation. And then you take the pliers while it's burning and you crimp it and crimp it, sticking it together. Yes, like that, just like so. Yes, good. Now on the other end, you take some more spit, lube that up. You're gonna heat up this end, but a little trick here is to put the hose clamp on first. Heat up the end with a torch, a little more spit, thread that in there, get your hose clamp on while it's still hot. Go ahead and just tighten up that hose clamp. So you end up with the hose clamp on there, just like that, okay? Now we're going to grab our hot glue gun, already nice and hot. And we're going to go ahead and take some sponge here. I'm going to use the coarse sponge for the spray. And I'm just going to snip off a waffle thin piece. Now with a hot glue gun, you got to be careful. It is hot. You'll burn your fingers and this is going to suck a little bit. We have to cut our hole first at the end of the tube because we want it to shoot out forwards, not out the tip. That's why we sealed it off. So I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to cut out a very odd shaped hole. It doesn't have to be, in fact, the outer shape it is, or if we have some flats, it's going to add to the spray effect. So we just want to kind of dig into there. You can have more than one small hole so we get more of a spray. Also, I found out that this stipple sponge here that we're using works well to fan out the blood so you just don't get one straight blob. If you just want a straight blob, just cut a hole and you can still get a straight shot out. I want to fan this out a little bit. So we put that on there. I'm going to take a tongue depressor so I don't burn my fingers. I'm going to hold that while I hot glue it with the tongue depressor. Now we're ready to load this sucker up with some blood. Now the cool thing is, when we have the quick release on there and you fill it with blood, it doesn't flow back. So you can prep this 
and have it ready for the actor. I'm actually going to pin this to the actor first. We'll set it up, and I'll show you how to do that, and then I'm going to show you how to fill it. But just to show you why we use a syringe and why you have the other male end of this, this is the filling tube. I use this for filling the tube later. It's a little trick I found. works out really well. You just take your quick release, put that on there, and you can fill up with blood. Take your quick release off, and you're all set. Ready, Zach? Uh-huh. Ready? And three, two, one, bang! And that is it for our very first episode of the Mad Monster Lab and an awesome effect. So remember, you need to subscribe because every other, every other Wednesday, that's every other Wednesday, we'll be uploading a new Monster Lab video. And if you guys have any questions for Rallis about this specific build, you can reach him on his Twitter, at Mad Monster Lab. If I feel like it. He usually does feel like it. If you're worthy. You guys are, are worthy, you're our audience, it's, it's totally cool. And if you guys have any requests for our future episodes, leave those in the comments below. No f***ing Thor, f*** you and your Thor hammer. What do you have against a Thor hammer? I know, it's just f***ing geeks, man. Also, check out these videos here. They're from Fallout Nuka Break. And, I mean, Thor hammer's not that bad. I mean, we'll talk. No, f*** you and your Thor hammer.